Imagine the unthinkable, a daughter left to die by her own parents. This isn't fiction, but the cold reality of Lacey Fletcher's final days. On a winter's day, the 3rd of January, 2022, a chilling 911 call was made. Sheila and Clay Fletcher, a couple in their mid-60s, reported the death of their 36-year-old daughter, Lacey Ellen Fletcher. The distress in their voices suggested a sudden and unexpected tragedy. But as the veil of their story was lifted, a much darker narrative emerged. The police arrived at the Fletcher residence, anticipating a typical death scene. However, what they were about to encounter was far from typical. The sight that greeted the first responders was one of pure horror, a scene that would linger in their minds for the rest of their lives. Lacey Fletcher, once a vibrant young woman, was found lifeless on the family couch. She was surrounded not by the comforts of home, but by the stark evidence of a prolonged and torturous neglect. Her frail body, a shocking testament to more than a decade of abandonment, was barely recognizable. The officers noted the appalling conditions. The stench of decay permeated the room, an unspeakable testament to the horrific neglect Lacey had endured. The couch, her prison for the past 12 years, was stained with excrement. Insects crawled over her body, feasting on the remnants of her existence. It was a sight that defied comprehension, a grim tableau of human suffering that one would struggle to imagine. The police officers, hardened by years on the force, were visibly shaken. It was evident that Lacey's last days were marked not by compassion or care, but by unimaginable neglect. The notion that parents could abandon their child to such a fate was chilling. The shocking discovery painted a picture of a life not lived, but merely endured. Lacey Fletcher was found in a state that resembled nothing short of a living horror. This marked the beginning of a case that would expose a haunting tale of neglect and a shocking disregard for human life. Lacey's tragic end was not the result of a sudden act of violence, but a slow, torturous neglect extending over a dozen years. Imagine, if you will, a vibrant young woman gradually succumbing to an insidious cognitive health decline. Lacey Fletcher, once full of life, found herself trapped within the confines of her own mind and her own home. But it was not her illness that was her undoing. Instead, it was the heartless indifference of the very people who should have fought for her, cared for her, loved her, her parents, Sheila and Clay Fletcher. As Lacey's health deteriorated, she became unable to leave her house. But what was her parents' response? Instead of seeking medical help, they left her on a couch. Yes, a couch. A piece of furniture became her world, and it was a world of unimaginable suffering. The conditions Lacey was forced to endure are difficult to put into words. She was left to wallow in her own excrement, her body a feast for insects. The stench of neglect filled the air. It's a scene that would make any sane person recoil in horror. Yet Sheila and Clay Fletcher allowed this. They enabled this. There were no calls to doctors, no trips to the hospital, no attempts to halt or even slow the progression of her illness, no efforts to provide their daughter with a shred of comfort or dignity. It was as if Lacey had ceased to exist for them, as if she had become a mere ghost haunting their living room. This was not a case of a lack of resources or access to medical care. This was a deliberate choice, a choice to ignore the suffering of their own child, to turn a blind eye to her slow, agonizing decline, a choice to let their daughter waste away on a couch, hidden from the world, forgotten. Lacey's life became a prison. Her parents were the jailers and the couch was her cell. And with the gruesome discovery, an investigation was launched that revealed the horrifying truths hidden behind closed doors. The local police, along with a team of forensics experts, began the arduous process of piecing together the final years of Lacey Fletcher's life. The crime scene, the Fletcher's distressing living room, bore silent witness to the years of neglect and abuse Lacey endured. The investigators meticulously catalogued every inch of the room, sifting through layers of squalor to uncover the damning evidence needed to build a case. The couch, where Lacey's lifeless body was found, was a haunting testament to her plight. It was stained with bodily fluids and infested with bugs, painting an unsettling picture of the conditions in which she lived. 
The medical examiner's report further solidified the grim findings. It revealed that Lacey had been malnourished, dehydrated, and ridden with bed sores, clear signs of prolonged neglect. As the investigators delved deeper, they unearthed a timeline of abuse that spanned over a decade. Neighbors were questioned, and many admitted to not having seen Lacey for years. They recalled her as a vibrant young woman whose health had gradually deteriorated, leading her to become housebound. Yet none suspected the nightmare that unfolded inside the Fletcher's home. The investigation also brought to light the absence of any medical intervention for Lacey. Despite her deteriorating health, there were no records of doctor's visits, prescriptions, or any attempts to seek professional help. This lack of care was a damning indictment of Sheila and Clay Fletcher's parental duties. As the pieces of the puzzle fell into place, the evidence overwhelmingly pointed towards Lacey's parents. Their neglect had not only caused their daughter's suffering, but had ultimately led to her untimely death. It was a chilling case of parents who, instead of nurturing their child, had abandoned her in her hour of need. The evidence painted a chilling picture of prolonged suffering and parental neglect. The investigation's findings would form the basis of the trial against Sheila and Clay Fletcher, a trial that would shake the community to its core. The wheels of justice began to turn, and the Fletchers were brought before the court to answer for their unspeakable crimes. Sheila and Clay Fletcher, the parents of Lacey Ellen Fletcher, were arraigned on charges of murder. The crime, too heinous to be ignored, was thrust into the spotlight as the media scrambled to cover every angle of the ordeal. The public outcry was deafening. Thousands of voices clamoured for justice, their indignation fuelled by the horrifying details of Lacey's life and death. The Fletcher's House of Horrors had held the nation captive, and the trial was set to be a dramatic climax. The defence team for the Fletchers was faced with the daunting task of trying to humanise a pair of individuals who had seemed to abandon their humanity long ago. They attempted to paint a picture of two overwhelmed parents, crippled by the enormity of their daughter's condition. They argued that Sheila and Clay were not equipped to deal with Lacey's cognitive decline, that they were victims of a system that had failed to provide support. The prosecution, however, was not swayed by these arguments. They presented a damning case, outlining the years of neglect and the appalling living conditions that Lacey had been subjected to. They argued that this was not a case of overwhelmed parents, but rather a case of monstrous disregard for human life. They painted a bleak picture of a helpless woman left to languish on a couch while life carried on around her. Witness testimonies and physical evidence from the Fletcher's home further bolstered the prosecution's case. The jury was confronted with the grim reality of Lacey's existence and the role her parents played in her demise. The trial was a chilling exploration into the darkest corners of human capacity. It stripped bare the facade of a seemingly normal family, revealing a chilling narrative of neglect and cruelty. The world watched, waiting for justice to be served. The trial exposed the Fletcher's monstrous disregard for their daughter's life. In the end, the court had to decide, were Sheila and Clay Fletcher guilty of murder, or were they just neglectful parents? It was a question that seemed to hang heavy in the air as the trial came to a close. The prosecution had painted a damning picture of the Fletchers, one of a couple who had failed their daughter when she needed them the most. The defence, on the other hand, argued that the Fletchers had been overwhelmed by Lacey's deteriorating health and did what they thought was best. The scales of justice tipped when a plea deal was presented to the Fletchers. The offer on the table was to plead guilty to the lesser charge of manslaughter. The couple, perhaps feeling the weight of their actions, accepted the deal and a sense of finality seemed to descend on the courtroom. On March 20th, 2024, the judge handed down the sentence. It was a day that would be remembered by all who had followed the case. Sheila and Clay Fletcher were sentenced to 20 years in prison. The verdict, while not the murder conviction some were hoping for, still held them accountable for their actions. There was a palpable relief in the courtroom, a sense that justice, however imperfect, had been served. The media coverage of the verdict was intense, Reporters from all over the nation descended on the courthouse, their cameras capturing the solemn faces of Sheila and Clay Fletcher as they were led away. 
The public reaction was mixed. Some felt the sentence was too lenient, others believed it was just. But the overarching sentiment was one of sorrow for Lacey, the woman whose life had been so tragically cut short by those who should have protected her. In March 2024, the gavel finally fell, closing the dark chapter of Lacey's life and bringing her tragic story to a somber end. The Fletchers were held accountable for their actions, but the question lingers. Could Lacey's fate have been different if those around her had intervened sooner?